Aha, uh -huh, okay, that's recording. I don't know if I'm gonna bother to take bother to take to edit actually edit the video. I might just upload it, but yeah. Um second Okay, so I mean we're gonna go from I know there's some people who weren't here last time and I've we've both ex gone a bit crazy sometimes of playing the system. Um we're gonna go from the you're you okay, Ziggy. Ziggy. You're like staring at the wall like it's your oh. lover. Like <laughs> Okay, uh also for the record I might just keep I might I might just keep all this in anyway, so uh in, enjoy enjoy this this way if you if you want to watch this back later. Uh yeah, so the um so we're gonna go from this we're gonna go from the start again. I'm gonna not you're not all here. This 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 whiteboard is supposed to work, but it's not working. So if we need to write anything down for reference, I'm gonna put it on the board. And if it doesn't work, then I give up. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you've got any questions, just we'll make it work. Ho I hope so. <laughs> if you got any questions, just just say so. You don't have to. I mean, I I encourage you to ask questions. Like, I mean, I might say we're gonna get to that in a second, but that's I don't really mind um and she spazzes out over questions so she, she i doubt she minds either someone else has just joined i don't recognize this person who is this this is my fiance hi luke oh hello i wonder if there's hello. other uh, well hello, hello. Uh, are you a gnome uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's our fiance now oh never mind they're not a gnome anyways <laughs> I don't... oh no they're not a gnome they're <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what to call you, Luke. Luke? Just some guy. Just oh, some guy? Okay, that works. The, well, um... Weird guy thing. Uh, yeah. well... Okay, well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't bloody know. <laughs> okay, so, uh... I don't we have installed, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go f I mean, you... I think you already know about the system anyway, but uh, yeah. So um, Myers Briggs. So again, we're gonna go from the start. So in all questions, go ahead and ask, and we'll thing. I'm not an I'm not an expert, so if I get something wrong, then I'm sh obviously um, uh, Kim or Kim or fiance. If he wants to, if he wants to contribute, will obviously say something. Um, oh, I don't know yeah. About fuck. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you lie. You lie to us. <laughs> MBTI, you just don't remember. She was always. She... Fair, I do info dump. We know. No, uh, you're she... not an idiot. She she was. Don't say we know. She she was she was bragging about you. She was like she knows all this. He knows all this stuff. He's really smart. <laughs> I wasn't bragging. He's really smart. It's just about other things. All right. Okay. Anyways. Um. Yeah. Anyways. So. Well, it's funny though. Um. Okay. So we'll go from the start. So. Well. So. Disclaimer, I mean, Myers Brig is not a proven system. Personality type systems can't be proven because, I mean, if you can think of a way to prove them, go ahead, but I, there's no way really to prove a personality type. Um, there are many different different systems. This Myers Brig just happens to be an extremely common one and one that's, I don't know when it was made. It was made, It's quite an old system now, but I, I couldn't tell when it was made. You'd have to Google it. Um, I'm not an expert on everything. The things I don't know, obviously, the others will help. Um, yeah. So, does anyone actually remember anything from last time at all? Or mm -hmm. you do? I know you do. Um, so, okay. So we'll go through the we'll go through the letters of what the t of the actual code, and then we'll explain the cognitive types. Um, everyone has it as a thing. Before I forget, mention mention everything. Everyone has everything because they have to because. We're human beings. You have to have everything. It's just that people tend to have preferences to what they prefer to use, which is what determines the order. Which we've, we explained to Ziggy on the Discord like ten minutes ago. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, starting. So um, if I probably should one second. If I spa if I spaz out by the way, or you can't see, I apologise. I'm not used to writing in VR, as you might imagine. Um, Okay, so the first letter is I or E. This is the one. This is the one that most people are going to be the most common with. Um, one second, and I can't write. In, I can't write, which kind of is a bit of a pain. There you go, I over E. That makes that's the best math ever. Um, 
so this this almost, this almost people are familiar with. So I means introverted and E means extroverted. Oh, um, goodbye. goodbye. Me? Wait, what's happening? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That. Through the floor. It's okay. Yeah. If that happens, just let me know. If I'm. If I'm walking, if I'm, if I spin around and I get too near the corner, it'll, it'll spaz out and do that. So just let me know. Um, yeah. So it's, so obviously everyone, a lot of people tend to associate themselves as an extrovert or an introvert. Um, it's more to do with it does now. It doesn't just, it doesn't mean that you are with a withdrawn person or an outgoing person. It's more you can have an introvert, you can have an introvert who's very outgoing, or you can have an extroverted person that isn't very outgoing. I mean that one's less common, but it can happen. Um, it's more to do with how you gain energy. So everyone has a sort of social type of energy. I'm not sure it's scientific name. It probably has one. Don't know. Google it. Um, that obviously you get that you gain or lose by either speaking to people or being by yourself. So introverts tend to need a lot of recharge time and or well, some, some recharge time. But and then the extroverts, the opposite, they tend to they tend to never shut up. So. Yes, as you can tell. We uh, recharge, yes. recharge via talking to people. Like, socializing like this. You know, for instance, it's kind of like giving you some energy right now, probably, huh? Uh, I mean, I've been talking to people all day, but basically, yes, it's to do how you, it's to do how you gain energy. Um, this might help that to actually work out what your type actually is, because those quizzes aren't 100%. You usually have to just sort of work it out yourself. Um, so that's the first letter. Um, and every, now... I'll get this to this in a, in a bit, but again, everyone has introverted and extroverted parts of them because it has you have to to balance us out. But you have a you'd have a main thing like I am an extrovert, I am an in, I am an introvert, etc. Um, and you can be the thing. So, uh, so the second letter. This is the um, so this is a bit diff. This one's a bit diff a bit different. Uh, so you might this one you might not have heard of. Um, I mean, you, if you remember last time then you remember, but otherwise you probably won't. Um, so there's S or N. And if you can, if it actually goes in the right, in the board. So the S is for, means sensory, um, and the N means intu intuitive. Uh, we use the N, not the I, because, I mean, it should be, it might, you can already tell, but yeah, because obviously if you just put, if you just put I, I, it'd be a bit confusing. So we use the N because the letter's already been used, basically. <laughs> Um, so, uh, generally, most people, I think most people on the server are intuitive, but we do have sensory people as well. Uh, Ziggy's a sensory person, I believe. Um, and most, so you'll find that most people in, well, most human beings, they tend to go more towards sensory. Um, I think about 75% of the population on the planet are sensory people. Um, obviously, it varies, and on the, on, it varies depending on where you are, but the planet in general um so this tends to be more so the it, it tends to be based more based on how you pr take in information basically um so if you're a sensory person you obviously as I said everyone can be everything but you t if you're a sensory person for example you tend to be more towards actually you prefer to like say for example you what you could I'll give you the option to learn about, let's say, football, for example. I don't know why I'm saying football, because I hate football, but whatever. Um, or actually go learn it by playing it. A sensory person would probably, obviously generalizations, but uh, they prefer to actually go ahead and learn these things by doing them. And, well, by doing them. Or actually, actually experiencing the thing and taking it in with their senses, hence sensory. Um, intuitive people tend to be the opposite. They prefer, they're more interested in concepts. So if you say, if you gave someone the option to learn about football through theory, they'd, an intuitive person is more likely to prefer to do that. They'd rather learn about it through concepts, theories, that sort of thing. Um, you'll find, especially, even though sensory is by far the most common, people on the internet, uh, and especially in VR, where you can be anything, anything you want, um, tend, so it tends to be very, very, very skewed towards intuitive because people who like co prepared to take in things through concepts and ideas and stuff like that tend to obviously gravitate towards. You're right. Who, who I can't tell who that is. <laughs> okay, I don't know who it is. Breathing in our classroom. I'd hope everyone is. Um, <laughs> who breathes? God damn it! God damn it! 
God. No, you have to breathe. Um, oh, good God. Um, yeah, so it's yes. It, so it tends to be more based. It tends to be more based on that. So in VR, we tend to people tend to be more towards intuitive because they gravitate towards things that give them concepts. So whereas a sensory person is more is on average more likely to be obviously out doing something. Don't know what something. Not a sensory person. Don't ask. They do. They do things. Uh, <laughs> I don't go outside. Um, so so that's so that's that that's um uh, intu intuition intuitive and sensory. Um, the remaining ones. I'm going to need help with the last one because I can remember what it what it is. You described it better last time. Um, so the next one is F is uh, F or T. So this is feeling. Also, I'm glad this board's really pretty long. Um, Aha! Uh -huh. What was it? Nick. Oh no! Sorry, I thought <laughs> I thought you were like looking at me, saying like, "Can you say what it is?" I was gonna say feeling versus thinking. I mean, you could. Uh, thinking. Yes, I I, I wasn't, but good job. <laughs> it's uh, it's fun. So. I contribute. Uh, yes. Help. Yes. Um. So, I mean, this one's fairly self-explanatory. It. Basically, just means that you tend to gravitate more towards your emotions, your feelings, how you feel, or you tend towards to gravitate towards thinking, logic, that sort of thing. Um, like for me, for example, I, I'm I'm T. I really struggle with my emotions, and I basically ignore them. Um, so I'm a, more of a thinking person. Whereas we have a lot of INFPs. Was it? It was INFP, right? I can't remember. Raise your hand if you're INFP. And we're going to yeah, go we with... Got, we got a couple INFPs, and I am also an INFP, so I understand you. I don't. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> it tends to, yeah, so, uh, they tend to be people who are, who are more, more or less, they're listening more to their emotions. Obviously, obviously it depends, because it's more based, this is, it's more based on the cognitive stack, which we get to in a bit. Um, but, yeah. Um... So that's that one's self explanatory everyone knows what thinking and feeling is, so it's that's more self explanatory. Um so the last one is the one that uh, that Kim is gonna explain because I butchered this last time, so um we're gonna get the person better at it to do it. <laughs> so the last one is J is J for um for ju for more like a judgmental person or P for perceiving, more of a perceiving person. Um I didn't got it wrong last time, so please explain the differences. <laughs> okay. So J versus P. So when we say judging, we don't mean like you look at someone and you're like judging them. It's not like that. It's basically how you organize your environment, how you prefer to organize your environment. Um, <coughs> types generally like to leave their options open. That leaves them feeling more comfortable. They're generally a little bit more flexible about how their environment looks, for instance. So they may have... You know, again, this is these are stereotypes. This isn't everybody, but uh, perceiving types tend to have a messy room. Me, for instance, my room is very, very messy. Luke could tell you we have a messy room. <laughs> uh, judging types tend to like to... <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. What did I say? But yeah, so judging types tend to like to organize their environment more. They like to have an effect on their outside environment so they're more likely to you know maybe work through things by organizing their room or you know they like they like to have an effect whereas perceiving types like to go with the flow so judging types like they like filled with blocks perceiving types they just go with the flow they just go with the flow so that's the overall general difference between the two of them here you go um yeah, I think there are some other other things that that one affects, but I can't remember them, so it's great. Um, that would affect yeah. a lot. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I, I, yeah. So there's a as you probably guessed, even when we do, even when we go through the rest of what we're going to go through, this system has so much to it that there's no way we like I, we could do a lecture on every single type if 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 like if it came to that. But obviously that would take that would take hours upon hours. So it's mostly going to be a case of we'll explain the finish the system and then. Keanu, you all right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, so, okay then. Um, yeah, so we we'll go. So, 
I mean, yeah, you can read about your own type on or, or, or your own types. People use this system for everything you use horoscopes for. Basically, you can go, you can yeah. go have like who's your, who, 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 which type you get along with, which your natural, which your mortal, which your mortal enemy is, all that sort of thing. If you're interested, in. so, um, or, yeah. Or if you have any questions about your type, since we can't like go through every single type today, that would take hours, like he said. If you have any questions, you can definitely come to me and ask me. I don't know everything, everything, but I do have a pretty solid grasp on it, so I could definitely help you. If you have any questions you have, any just sort of like curiosities you have, anything you like. So just want to leave that out there too. Just feel free to message me at any point. Yeah, the, um, I'm, yeah, the same to me, but obviously I'm, I know a lot about my own type and my own functions, but I'm not very good with the ones I don't have so if it's so if if you have a very different type than me I'm an ENTJ then you probably would be best to be to her um also just because I just because she didn't mention it before um uh, because it's kind of funny um as you said you're but you're you're in your you're, you're in your fiance's room as a mess you're both perceiving types so that makes sense <laughs> we are both perceiving types so yeah that is gonna happen <laughs> yeah basically um yeah so uh okay so we'll go f we're gonna go through the coordinates stack we're gonna, probably gonna um so everyone has what we call a cognitive stack i posted the infp one a little while ago on the discord i believe i posted it was that one i posted i can't remember if i'm wrong forgive me um we'll go through we'll go through the functions i'll try to explain i'll explain some of them we'll have uh, we'll have kim explain some of the others because i said the ones that aren't my main functions i'm very rusty on um so the way, the way it works basically is everyone there are eight, eight functions uh, there is an uh, so those include an four basically four function types and there's an introverted and an extroverted version of each of them. Everyone has every everything, but you have four that we actually talk about. The the other four are called shadow functions. You have them because you have to to be a human being, but you don't tend to prefer them, so we don't really talk about them. You just have them because you have to have them. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, in fact, give me. Give me a second, actually. I'll quickly. It might be better to actually go. Th actually, you know the. Do you know the? You know the NIP cognitive stack, don't you? The INFP one, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You should do. Uh. Yeah. So just tell me what it is. I'll write it down. We'll explain the thing. It's better just to go through a common one because if I go for ENTJ, I'm the only person in the server with that type, as far as I'm aware. So there's. It's better to go through one most people have. Um. Okay. So yeah. what is the first one? <laughs> The very first one is introverted feeling. Oh uh, yes, I hate I, I hate this one. Um, the, okay. The one you hate, you, which you shouldn't hate. You shouldn't hate. You should lean into it, but that's another story for another time. Yeah. Uh, like, get out of here. I'll, I'll explain that why. That why. This is why. The last function. Yeah, basically. Um, also, just because well, remember, we're going to explain this using a model that might make it a bit easier to understand. We forgot it last time because I mean I got this. I mean. I, I meant I was going to bring it up, but I completely forgot because everything broke. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, so, so your main function is co is called your well, just your main function. So this before I'll go right down a second. Um, this is the, p the function that you generally use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now you can think of this. Uh, there's a, there's a way of, of uh, explaining this called the car model, where you think of it as people like people in a car. So you can imagine the main function to be your driver, the person who is making the most of the decisions. Um, this tends to be developed when you're up to when you're about 20, teenager, something like that. Because um, as you go through your life, you you develop your other functions more. But early life, this is the one you tend to use for most things. Um, so yeah, introverted feeling. I'll put. I'll just put FI. Um, the short, you, you explain the shortcuts while I quickly while I write it out because you keep using them. Um, to explain how, how those work and I'll write yeah. that out. Um, hmm. That's a good question, actually. Yeah, they, there's like shorthand for each function. I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure the reasoning behind it, not gonna lie. I just know the shorthand for it because I've spent so much time reading it. So, introverted feeling, they like to kind of like mix the letters up so it's like F I first. It's because the, it's I don't it, really know the behind. 
It's because you, you, the, the, the system is you write the letter that it would be in your stack, so F for feeling, and then you write either I or E depending on whether it's introverted or extroverted. So introverted feeling it's is it, yeah. introverted feeling is F I for shorthand. Um, so, I mean, Thank you. you, you'd be better off explaining this. This is your driver. This is my inferior function, the one I'm worst at. So you explain this one. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So. For INFP, your lead function is going to be introverted feeling. Um, for the INFP, what that means is you go through life and you're thinking to yourself, okay, what does this mean to me? What, how does this fit into my values? Um, introverted feeling is a value-based system. It's quiet and it's to yourself, so you're like thinking to yourself, what does this mean to me? Um, and you're basically, yeah, you're going through life and you're thinking, like, say um, someone drops, like, a bottle of milk on the ground, and you're like, what does that mean to me? Like, it, that's kind what? of like, yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think of an example. That wasn't a very good example. But, like, um, or you're thinking, like, where do I, like, what do I want my life to look like? How do I want my everyday life to look like? That's an introverted feeling kind of question. Like, what do I want out of life? You know, what do I want is basically what introverted feeling is. Um, when it goes bad, if, if you were like a villain INFP, this can look like a very selfish function, unfortunately, because that's just the nature of it. But when it's good, when you're like <coughs> developed and everything's going well, it can be a very strong function for helping you empathize with people. Because if you're in touch with who you are, it can help you become in touch with how other people are. FI is the individual's function. It is how each individual, like, thinks and feels and wants. So that is FI in a nutshell. Okay, so, okay. yeah, that's uh, so that's my worst function, so I'm bad at all that. Uh, yeah, so the, um, so I mean, obviously, the exact, where, where these functions are in, in the order it does make a difference to how you do it. That's how we use the, the car model to help you understand it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that was that was basically that was that was basically basically it. Um, do you want to explain extro extroverted feeling as well? Because I don't even have this function. So I mean, I don't think you either. Okay. But extroverted. Yeah, I could do that. So basically, if introverted feeling is about the individual, um, then extroverted feeling is about the group. Okay. Extroverted feelings. Uh, extroverted feeling type people who are dominant in extroverted feeling. These are your ENFJs and your ESFJs, all right? They're going to be excellent hosts. They're gonna wanna know what everyone's up to. They're gonna wanna know like how everybody is doing to the point that they are self-forgetting. You know, they don't think about the individual, they think about the group. Now this is, again, this is a wide generalization. Not every ENFJ or ESFJ is gonna be like that, but um, their natural instinct is to pay attention to others at the cost of themselves. So if at, at their worst ENFJs, if they're villains, if, if we have a villain ENFJ and their function isn't well developed and they're like unhealthy in an unhealthy state, what's gonna happen is they're going to be like, you don't fit in the group. Why don't you agree with the group? You're bad. And then they'll turn everyone against that like one person. That's, that is bad extroverted feeling good extroverted feeling well obviously you include the groups you include everybody these are like these are like your presidents these are like your leaders these are your people that will think of everybody and make sure everybody is feeling heard so this could be a very inspiring function or it could be a very bad function like it really just depends on the individual person but that is extroverted feeling in a nutshell they are group oriented as opposed to individual oriented See, I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, so the yeah, so like this. So again, that's that's one of my shadow functions. I don't know much about that one. So uh, yeah, just to think the whole here, the whole she's speaking talk about obviously villain a villain function a good function. Um, obviously, as even if no matter, well, even if what you know what your type is, as you go through life, you develop your functions. So depending on obviously what happens with someone's life, they may be that even though they're a well, not an, I, an IFP, for example, they could they could, for example, just have not developed their main or 
it's not so much doesn't happen so much with your driver function, but um, like they could just not develop the functions the way most people of their type would, so it can come across in quite a bad way. Um, there are other examples for all the types you can give, but obviously I don't know much about these types because yeah, I'm it's, I'm bad at this whole that whole thing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, is there anything else you wanted to do about feelings, or we're we gonna go to the next one? Oh, I mean, I could talk forever about feelings, but we better get on. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I would have. I would have guessed that. Don't worry. Uh, okay. What? Uh, yeah, well, we're doing the. Uh, we're doing the INFP. The INFP stack. Uh, what? What is the next one? Because I don't. Again, I don't know. There's no distinction the on the head. The next one is extroverted intuition. That oh. is N E. Well, you know that, but like, I'm just. Yeah, I put it on Same. the I put it on the thing at the board. Uh, by the way, it should be it probably already guessed, but with the e dot means introverted and the i the no the e dot means extroverted and the i dot means introverted. It just saves me on board space because otherwise I have to write out introvert and extrovert and run out of board. So uh, one second. Do you want me to explain why you're writing? Uh, I mean, you can you can do. I I can explain this one. I can explain this one to some extent. I read about it, but if you if you want to, you can go ahead. Okay. You can explain it if you want. I don't mind. Uh, okay. Well, you explain this. You explain the extroverted one. I'll explain the introverted one because I actually have the introverted one. So. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, okay, I, so extroverted intuition. This is. Go ahead. I wrote it wrong. <laughs> uh, go, go, uh, carry on. You're okay. So extroverted intuition, this is how you take in information. This one's kind of a little hard to explain. It's a little bit abstract. So um, basically, extroverted intuition, they are the brainstormers, all right? Ideas are floating everywhere for them. These are your fast talkers, your, like, ideas out of their butt type people. Like, they just come up with ideas like nobody's business. Luke, you are an ENTP. Your lead function is extroverted intuition. So for instance, my fiance, he plays D and D and he's a dungeon master. So he is always coming up with stories. He's always coming up with ideas. He is always coming up with like characters for these stories he tells. And I don't know how he does it, but that is extroverted intuition. You just, you have ideas like out, out <coughs> your butthole, basically. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that in the professional lecture, but you know what I mean. Um, they like, to they can like <laughs> get out of here oh my lord Sorry. okay, okay Sorry so fiance. but anyway no don't leave i love you okay <laughs> so, um <laughs> while they're having while that's happening so, um and yeah so just because obviously just because obviously i'm i mean you're not the kind of person to actually say this but i mean yeah it just means you come up with it it just so, for example, like, let's take INTJ, for example. Uh, they have a reputation, because their nickname is The Mastermind, they have a, a reputation of being really smart. But Myers Blake has no effect on how good you are. How, it doesn't have any effect on your intelligence, how good you are at things. It's mostly just how your brain is wired. So, like, you, obviously, you, you, you're you both disagreeing here, but, like, you, you can come up with, if you have extrovert intuition, you can come up with loads of really good ideas, loads of really bad ideas. The important thing is you're coming up with loads of ideas. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They're the ideas people. And, like, super generalizing, again, not everybody's like this, but, you know, ideas. That's basically all you need to know in a nutshell. <laughs> Basically, yes. Yeah. So they're all, they're the they're they're the ones that don't come up with one idea. They come up with fifty thousand ideas, and it also with 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 um. So intuition is what we call a perceiving function. So it affects it also affects how you see things. So with extroverted intuition, for example, again, this isn't one of my functions, but I mean it's my shadow function. But uh, so basic. So like when I when you when you, so basically means when they look at something like what's going to happen instead of being like okay, this is the most likely solution. They'll be like, well, this could happen, this could happen, this could happen. They come across, they're like, for a dungeon master, that would be insanely useful, for example. So they come across with lots and lots and lots of ideas and they just have, lots of things could ha could happen. And yeah, they're good at, intuition is, is also all about obviously pulling information that you, that isn't exactly there. So it's a bit, I say it's the cat bar to sensory. Um, did you want to say anything more about extroverted intuition before I talk about introverted? Because I actually have this one, so. Yeah, go go ahead, go ahead. 
Okay, so um, well that that information helped me with this anyway. So, uh, so introverted intuition is a sort of a counterpart. So, if um, whereas an extroverted person, intuition person, it, or who has that as their one of their functions, is going to come up with lots and lots and lots of ideas, um, someone with introverted intuition is more going to come go go very deep into this is the most likely likely solution thing that's going to happen, and this is what I should do to do it. Um, they're very they're very especially if it's your if it's your driver or secondary function and I I forgot to explain secondary function so I'll do it in a second um, is the bit is is more about like going to that one idea this is most likely to happen this is what we need to do to get it to happen uh, actually getting it to happen is a different function but um, but basically it just means obviously you're going to focus more on more focused on, on one idea rather than so if I was a dungeon master for example I'm not going to come across if it, I'm not going to come up with fifty thousand ideas I'm going to come across with this is maybe one or two of that and then obviously go based on what the most likely stuff is for that um i think that's it about introverted intuition am i missing anything yeah. or so like well like basically in a nutshell if extroverted intuition is an explosion of ideas then introverted intuition is like a train track going towards a destination basically like you have you add ideas to the train track but it's going in one direction whereas extroverted intuition is going all the different directions all at once does that yeah. make sense mm -hmm. yeah. well yes okay all right yep. okay good and uh, so just yeah, in a nutshell yeah okay yeah just because i didn't explain the secondary function because i forgot uh so yeah it's cool it's typically referred to as I think it has a different name. I can't remember. It's called. What well, do you call it? Secondary function. It's auxiliary. That one. Uh, so. Uh, it's called auxiliary. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, yeah. So the. Um, so basically, this is a good way to think of this in terms of the car model. Is it's. It, you could think of it as a co-pilot. Um, this doesn't. This example doesn't really work these days because everyone has GPS. But say, for example, it's in a car. The co-pilot, the secondary function, is the one. Is is the person sat next to them with a map. They're making, they're helping them. They're, they're fairly, they're very important. They're helping them make decisions, um, but obviously they're not the ones that typically have the final say. It's more the, it's, it's a secondary function. It helps you. Um, if the, I can't. What I was going to say. Great job, me. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Uh, uh, um, Take a uh, 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 uh Oh and yeah, this tends to, I this speaking of train track, yeah, if you it the problem the problem I sometimes have is that I get I start rambling, I get my brain shoots ahead and I'm like, what was I gonna say in the first place? Um okay, I can't remember. Yeah. Um Nope, can't remember. We'll so I give up. If if I remember I'll let you, I'll let you know. I'll probably I'll probably remember in a few minutes. Um yeah, so that's the so that's the second that's the basically the co pilot. Um the, oh, I remember now. See, told you about. Told you remember. So this one, this function, you tend to de you tend to develop through your twenties and your thirties. Um, so, well, you tend you, but you tend to become through those, that time of your life, you tend to become a lot more aware of your secondary function. You tend to develop it a lot more. Um, so obviously, yeah, I mean, Ziggy, for example, you've had most. Of, you're, I think, you're, you're, you're like older than most people in the server, for example. So yours, yours functions are a lot more, more well developed. I mean, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm right. See, see, intro, see I, I don't, I say stuff and don't take into account people's feelings. I'm very sorry if I sometimes offend people by accident. <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> see, you're, you're. And that is your introverted sensing. Yeah, uh, we'll get, we'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, so your, your driver is my worst function. So. I sometimes say things about Reza. If, if I ever if I ever offend anyone, I'm very sorry. Okay, I don't mean to. Um, yes. Just give him a slap. Just give him a slap. Get your feelings out, and then. Yeah, yeah just, give, just give me just give me a slap because I can't tell. Um, but yeah, base, basic. <laughs> yeah, basically the um, ish, it's be, well, for people like obviously as you get older, you tend to develop your functions more and become more well rounded as a person. Um, there are going to be bits of you as a person that you will always not be very good at for example or, or you just prioritize least um but you tend to become better at all your functions as you get older um yeah so we'll go that was intuition um the third one i'll explain before i forget the the what reports of this function um so this is your tertiary function a good way to think of this one is a 10 year old screaming in the back of your car so they behave most mm -hmm. of the time 
um, but they're not always going to be the most. They're occasionally that. They're occasionally they're going to throw a paddy and be that. Per, um, just you have to kind of deal with them. Um, usually, you a lot of people tend to tend to develop habits that help this. Um, so, for example, mine is extroverted feel sensing, which means getting out. I'll get. We'll get into that in a second. But getting out there and doing stuff, and I I really enjoy running as a way of dealing with that. Um, so. Yeah, and the same the same thing applies to Werner. It's his worst function, and yeah, same idea. So, um, yeah, it's like a ten year old in the back of your car type of thing. So, uh, what is the next function for INFP? Uh, give me a second. So, introverted feeling. Um, that's going to be introverted sensing for the INFP. Ah, oh, yes, another one that I don't have. Um, okay, and just be <laughs> just because I've realised I forgot to mention i did tell say last time but i forgot this time and i can't write well, for god's sake uh yeah so i don't know if you noticed but tell balancing balance society's human beings say hey, there's extrovert introverted parts of us so your main function is always going to be what you like you actually were so inp introvert the first function is introverted uh because you've got to be balanced out it then goes the opposite so extroverted then introverted again then extroverted and that's the opposite for extroverts. Extroverts go extroverted function, in, in, uh, introverted function, and then so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's uh, I forgot to mention, but that's why it keeps alternating because you have to, you. It would go past four, but we're not going to go into the shadow functions because you don't really need to talk about them. That's a whole can of worms. Yes, uh, we're explaining all the functions as it is. There's only eight, but obviously it's a. Uh, we're we're going very in basic, so uh, yeah. So this is another one I'm going to need your help with because I don't have this function as one of my main functions. So uh, please explain introverted sensing. All right. <laughs> Intro introverted sensing. Okay. This one. This is since this is like my. Uh, I don't know how to say the word. Te tertiary. Ter Ter tertiary. Tertiary. Th third function. Tertiary. 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 Okay. Thank you. Because it's my tertiary function. It's not a function I am personally very strong in. So I'm going to have a hard time explaining as well. Ziggy, this is your first function. So this is probably something that will, you know, this is this is going to be your strength. So I'm going to do my best to explain this as best I can here. Um, introverted sensing. Um, actually. Do you I'll mind be... if I talk about extroverted sensing first to kind of compare? Um, sure. I mean, I won't have to explain it then. I'm... But just to check, weren't you? Weren't we doing Ziggy's type? You what just said that? you just said sensing is his first function. Weren't you? Aren't we doing his type? What's your type again, I, Ziggy? I like, like last time a little bit. He's an ISTJ. Oh well, I'm stupid then. Ignore me. Uh, carry on. But... <laughs> okay, but yeah. So I'm gonna just talk about. You'll go into it more in depth, but extroverted sensing is like experiencing the moment as is, like in the moment with your physical senses. Um, introverted sensing, whereas like compared to extroverted sensing, is experiencing the moment, but taking like a catalog of like all of your memories and everything that you have experienced up to that point. So people with introverted sensing have extraordinary memories they are very good at remembering things like for instance you said i remember everything you said you said that that is an introverted sensing thing you remember things people have said you remember things like you've read in the past you have excellent memories so um if extroverted sensing is like a photograph of the moment where you see everything in extraordinary detail <coughs> um introverted sensing is like someone in a courtroom taking minutes they're recording everything that is going on up to that, that point so you have like a really long memory you remember things for a very long time um because you remember things for so long um you tend to skew more towards like traditional ways of doing things because that's just how it's been done and that's how you function that is how you do things you know you want to do things the right way you want to do things the way things have been done um so they can be very traditional in that sense. Uh, not always, but they can be. Uh, that's not to say they can't be like, you know, progressive minded, but they tend when they like do things, they tend to want to do things the way people have always done them. Um, so in in a nutshell, that's kind of what introverted sensing is. Again, it's a little abstract for me. It's a little bit hard for me to explain because it's not one of my stronger functions. For me as an INFP, um, tertiary, tertiary. <laughs> Tertiary, I think I'm saying it right. You are. Um, SI kind of is me, like, for instance, being able to remember all of the types of MBTI. 
or like liking my little habits that I do day in and day out. Like, you know, I like to have my cup of coffee or I like to sit in bed for X amount of time because that's the way I've always done it. That's how it shows up for me. But it's a weak function for me. It's like a 10 year old in the back seat. You know, it shouldn't be calling the shots, for instance. I shouldn't be like, you know, making decisions based on this function because it's the 10 year old in the backseat for me. Whereas for you, it is your leading function. You definitely should be making decisions based on this. It is your strongest function. Um, and so, yeah, that is introverted sensing. Okay. See, I didn't know some of that. So it's a, it's good, it's a good thing we got over here. Else I'd just be kind of lost at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that also makes sense because I don't have that. And I'm the kind of person to take tradition and just get rid of it uh, so uh yeah i, I i'm i'll throw need both types. yeah pretty much um you need both types of people basically yeah so uh yeah an extroverted sensing i've mentioned it a little bit but that's more about being it's more about connecting to the outside world feeling as part of your body um that's basically that sort of thing it's for you take so it's about obviously just well yeah connect to the outside world um yeah and uh, same to for the function introvert sends it for her yeah this is my this is my tertiary function as well so i'm not very good at this one um but it's yes yeah, that part of it, it's it's basically just obviously connecting connecting with yourself getting um becoming doing doing you typically want to do things that get you make like in the moment etc um now obviously this but this bit is is rather interesting because people who have extroverted sensing as one of their tertiary or inferior functions especially inferior functions um they obviously this is generalist but that like for example substance abuse is extremely okay um uh <laughs> okay so yeah i assume they got up to I assume that they got to the child or something. Uh, yeah. So the um. So yeah. For example. For example, like substance abuse, things that make you really feel part of your body are really dangerous for people who have extroverted sensing as their inferior functions or tertiary functions. Um, it can be a really big thing. Like obviously, for me, it's just my tertiary function. I've not drugs, but I've had lots of issues in my life with addiction to stuff. Like I got, I was, a, I was like insanely addicted to Dr Pepper for years. So it is a danger if it's one of your lower functions, especially. Um, but yeah, I mean, I for extra for, for, for the sensing. If you want to know more about the introvert, introvert, extrovert, introvert sensing, I'd recommend reading about it because we can explain it the best we can. But this isn't one of our main functions, so we're not going to be. We're not going to be the best people to explain this. Um, yes, I mean I can. Just one second. I'm gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna annoy me if I don't write extroverted sensing. Give me one second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Also, yeah, it's a uh, S. It's S E. Um, you probably already worked that out, but yeah. Um, Yeah, so this is that. This is how. This is all. This is why we we can use these functions to help figure out what type you are. By the way, adapters, because um, the order makes a makes a big difference. So that's how she worked out that I'm an ENTJ, not an INTJ, because my functions were in the mm -hmm. were in a different order. Um, so yeah. So the last one. I mean, I can work out can, what. Go on. I was gonna say I can sniff out inferior. Um, introverted feeling like a hound dog. I know it. I have a friend who has, is an ENTJ. I know it like so well. I'm like, nah, you're not an INTJ, dude. <laughs> you're an ENTJ for sure. Uh, yeah, probably. So, uh, right. Well, this one, um, I mean, <laughs> I'll explain this next one because this is my driver function. Um, so, to extrovert, and yeah, I can work, again, I can work it out because it's the only function left and it changes every time. Introvert, extroverted, introverted, extroverted. So, that's the again the way it's out so extroverted thinking um actually first i need to explain inferior function you probably guess from when we've been talking about it but inferior function is the part of you that no matter how well developed you get a person you're always gonna struggle with this one a little bit um it can be you can develop it etc but it's always going to be at the bottom of the priority list and depending on and obviously you're always going to struggle depending on what it is um it's good. It's, 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 you can you can think in the driver model in the driver model in the car model you can think of it as a three-year-old screaming the screaming in the back of your car. They'll throw or they'll they'll be there. Sometimes they'll be quiet, but they're going to throw a paddy every so often, and you have to do something to deal with them. So it's to calm them down, basically. Yeah. Basically, 
yeah. So, um, yeah, so you can just say she's what she's all about, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, extroverted thinking as a function, it's very much about. So, um,. She'll, I mean, I can explain both of these as well, but we'll, uh, but I think you'll be better, probably better doing it for a function anyway. Uh, so they're more about getting their, th taking what you think and get it and making it a reality. They're very much the kind of people who make things happen. They're the one, like, when well, everyone in the room will be talking about, we could do this, we could do this. The the um, the extroverted thinking person that all has that function is going to be the one to say, are we actually going to do something? Um, so they very much enjoy f making things happen. Uh, they they also tend to they the thinking they also tend to make on the spot decisions quite a bit. Um, obviously, they have their other functions, but they're the ones who are more likely to just they're the ones who are, who are the kind of we're going to throw out an entire system that's worked for the because they've happened to think of something that they like more. And uh, yeah, I, I've done it before. I, I threw out my I I, re I rearranged my entire my entire like room at like eleven at night because I was like it could be better this way and I have to do it now. Um, so, oh, yeah. Whereas an introvert, well, yeah, yep. yeah. Whereas an introvert, an, an an introverted thinking person is more likely to think about it before they just <laughs> throw it, turn everything around. Um, but yeah, it's also also as you probably probably guess, they really enjoy explaining stuff. Um, they really really love explaining stuff. So I don't know if that showed because it probably did. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I wanted to do this. That's partly why I wanted to do this lecture because I just I just love explaining stuff. Um, well. Your, I'm, I'll go into your type in a, in a minute. I want to mention yours anyway because your, I was surprised how different our types were. It was really shocking, actually. <laughs> um, I'm so yeah. So uh, I'll go into that afterwards. So yeah, that's extroverted thinking. It's making stuff happen. Um, do you want to explain introverted feeling, thinking? I do know, know about this one, but I think you actually have it, so you'd be better over it. I think. I don't. I I actually don't have introverted thinking like at all. It's not oh, okay. my stack at all. Okay, um, I'll... Yeah, extroverted thinking is my last function. Okay, I'll... explain it, because I'm not good at introverted thinking. No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll explain this as one of the else. So, um, I mean, yeah, okay, I, I read about it. So, so basically, introverted thinking is much more about, obviously, space, spending a lot of time deciding, obviously, making, de making detailed plans, um, just getting, obviously... Oh, one second, sorry. It should be... By the way... I'm mostly arrived, but I still have. I'm still not 100%. So give me one second. <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, so from what I can gather, from what I've, from, I, I'd be fine. Uh, from what I can gather, introverted thinking. It's more. It's more about uh, making lot, making plans in your head. You tend to have lots of different. So this is the kind of problem. This is the function neither of us have, so neither of us are going to be that good at explaining it. Um, it's based so it's based about. I explain it a little. Um, you explain it. If I think of anything else that you haven't mentioned, I'll I'll add to it. So just, just do that. Okay. So okay. So if extroverted thinking is about creating things in your real world and setting up frameworks for things in your real world, introverted thinking is literally all that, but in your head. So you set up logical uh, frameworks for things in your head and you like try and make sense of things in your head about things. These are like your mathematicians, your theorists, your, you know, the people who are going to think very deeply about things um, and how they work and why. Um, so that's kind of introverted thinking in a nutshell. Uh, again, if you have any questions, I could probably answer it more in detail, like over text too, because I can like research it a little bit better. So if anyone has introverted thinking in their stack and wants to know more about it, let me know. But basically everything that extroverted thinking is like out in the real world, they're like the inverse of that. They're going to be thinking of things in their head. Again, mathematicians, theorists, etc. So that's what it is in a nutshell. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with that because, so I did read about this and I've completely forgot. So, um, was, was a good, was, was a good, was a good, was a good, like, 20 minutes trying to read about it, but whatever, I forgot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, if... Dude, you're getting over COVID, like... I'll, I'll be, I'm mostly fine. okay. I'm most, I'm most, I'm mostly fine now, I'm just not 100%. Uh, are you back now, Ziggy, by the way? You kind of, you kind of, you kind of clipped through the wall. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was really funny. Okay. Yeah. So, um, well, I mean, we've gone over the we've gone over the functions now. I mean, if you if any that's that's pretty much all of them. I say you'll have four functions that'll be part of your stack, and then you'll have four that are shadow functions. 
this is INFP now. Um, just to th I I couldn't tell we can't tell you the what decides the order because honestly I looked and I looked and I could not find what call, what decides the order. I know something does. Did you ever find out? <laughs> I never did either. It's like, it's kind of weird. I have to like go back to the source material and read it. Like, look up Jung and like stuff and just see. It, is it Jung or Young? I it's have. Probably Young, isn't it? Young, right? I don't care for history. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Well, uh, I like history as someone with SI, so like. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can actually understand what she's talking yeah. about now. Um, yeah, so the. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, that's the, that's basically that. Um, now it is worth noting that just because just because the two two functions have similar letters, it could mean worlds of difference. So if you want to try and know your own cognitive stack, obviously we've gone for NFP, but we can we can probably help you find it. You can just search it. You type on cognitive stack. Um, for example, the thing I mentioned with me and uh, me and my fiance, like I didn't. So we he's an he's an ENTJ, not ENTJ. I'm an ENTJ. He's an ENTP and I'm an ENTJ, but. We have like I didn't realize this until I looked it up out of interest, but we, our every function they have is their main is in their top four is my shadow function, but there's only it's only a J and a P, so I'm I didn't even realize yeah. yeah I didn't realize like it was that di it would, could cause that level of difference, but apparently it can. So um so yeah I mean is anyone gone? No, I was just gonna ask um. Now that we've gone through like all of the cognitive functions and all the stacks and stuff, I know we've been talking, I know it's easy for your brain to kind of go on autopilot here when someone's talking for a long time, but does anyone have any questions or anything, any thoughts at all? Anything you want to chime in and add? I, uh, no, I go ahead. only have like uh, a question, but like I am interested to look up like what my cognitive stack would be because I'm... I think it's EN, ENFP, but like the, it was very close, like I feel like if I took the test again, I could be like INFP, so, mm -hmm. I'd have yeah, to that could up, be, like, sorry, for INFPs, it is common to try on, like, like for INFPs, it's common to test as ENFP, because that um, extroverted intuition can be very strong, and like, you know, for instance, I drink coffee, and my extroverted intuition comes out like in spades and I seem very extroverted in the moment. So if I were to take the test mm -hmm. now, I would probably come off as an ENFP. So it, and like you have that like self like cognitive bias as well, which kind of makes it hard with tests, like how you can test and you answer how you wish you could be as opposed to what you actually are. And it could be hard to tell the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. So it's good to like have somebody with an objective perspective too take a look at your type and see how you act and like kind of go from there so it's good to have someone type you as well um yeah, yeah. yeah see um yeah yeah you could probably be either or yeah so the well just some things about the ty type i just thought of just because good to see so um typically yeah it is quite common it is quite common to be mistyped for and Gen generally, Myers Briggs. You'll see. You'll see some people. Obviously, that, that if you look into it, saying my personality type changed. That doesn't happen. Um, if you're, if you're, at least in Myers Briggs, obviously, it depends on the system. But um, typically, it, you, if you, dis if you found out you are such and such a type, it's not that you changed type. It's that you were that all along. You just didn't realize it. It's very. There are with some types, especially, especially like for example, for years I thought it was an INTJ, and. Obviously, um, no, Kim, Kim, yeah. obviously, Kim is basically like. So I'm, I'm actually an, an, an ENTJ because this, it's in a different order. But I didn't, I didn't know because the, the thing with the test is, it's very, as she said, it's very, it's very biased to what you think you think of yourself rather than what you actually are. Um, and it's you'll you'll also get some people who like, for example, just because I know about INTJs, lot there's lots of people you'll see online that will say I'm an INTJ. Because, did any of you ever remember when the Hogwarts test became common and everyone decided... Okay, Ziggy doesn't remember. Does anyone else? When everyone, but the, there was that test on Portimore for, for um, to be cut off a house. Okay, that just gets it. But, like, there were loads and loads of people being Gryffindors and stuff like that. But very few... And basically no Hufflepuffs because people are biased and they will put the answer they think gets the type that they want. 
it's the same thing in Myers Brig because every because a lot of these types have a nickname. So, I mean, I don't know what 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 INFPs. The mediator. Okay. Well, the peacemaker, the mediator, is INFP, I think. I think. Okay. What I got I was wrong. the advocate. What? Oh, advocate. is that? Yeah. Is that what they said INFP was? Today. I could be wrong, actually. Yeah. I don't remember Keanu? nicknames. Keanu. Keanu. Yeah, I'm INFP, and it's a god mediator for me, so it might be that. Mm. Might yeah. Have names I think... on a different website. Yeah, it's the. It could be that too. Like every website's different. Yeah. Yeah, the most the if you if people talk about the nicknames, nine times out of ten they're talking about the uh, the sixteen personality one because it's the most common. But yeah, so sometimes you get people like for an INTJ, for example, the nickname for for that is Mastermind, which people see, see and sound that sounds really cool. Mm. But so they they do the test and and try and get try and get that. Um, like I mean, for an INTJ or an ENTJ, or whatever you you can tell if those are genuine INTJs because they're not going to be bragging about it because it sucks. Um, like here, an ENTJ, for example, his nickname is Commander because they tend to get make things happen. I don't know what I what what's ENF what's the EN, ENTP's nickname? I actually don't know. Oh, ENTP, that's a good one. I'm not sure. Luke, do you remember the nickname for ENTP? Do you remember it all? Well, that would actually make okay, cool. that would. <laughs> That would make sense because if there's someone, I mean, a, a, if, they, if the nickname is Campaigner and you're a dungeon master, that would make sense. Um, oh, I think the, I thought the Campaigner was ENFP. Yeah. It might be either. Um, oh, okay. Also, just because it's relevant, um, I think you look like I think Mondo's is uh, the nickname for that for her type is the, the Protector, which. I'm pretty sure most of us are going to agree matches matches their personality. So, um, what what type is Mondo? You know. Uh, give me a second. I, I've literally got a browser open in front of me, so just give me a second to type it. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about. Um. Nico says it didn't change for her. She's still the same. We don't know what she was in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, on the, uh, everything channel. You said it. Okay, but, yeah, what type is it? I don't know, I, I'm only relaying. Oh, okay, okay. INFP, okay. INFP, very uh, common on here. Everybody is an INFP. Um, also, the protector... INFP's rule. She was definitely a, she was definitely a, the protector, because I remember, because it, because it matches the personality. Um, the the nickname the the, uh, the type for that is IS, S, uh, ISFJ. <coughs> oh, oh, she's an ISFJ. Okay. So that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, so it does make sense. if you want to try, if you want to be, I mean, it depends how much you want to look into the system. If you really, if you want to want to try and. So I've got a browser in front of my face. Um, if you want to, I mean, if you want to be a hundred percent sure what your thing is, beyond obviously just. Getting someone who like I mean you could ask you could probably ask him she could give you a she could talk to you about it and give you a better idea than I probably could. Um, but typically what I'd advise if you want to try and do it yourself. Well you did you, you, well, you helped me so um, so yeah what what you can what yeah what you can do is if you want to I mean you can you can do the 16 personality one but I typically recommend doing a, doing a few of the tests seeing what types they get reading about them and then seeing which one you identify with more. Um, you are going to get still mix-ups because obviously I thought it was an INTJ, but the for example the the, the cognitive stack for an INTJ and an ENTJ are exactly the same but in a different order, and the order makes a massive difference. But obviously I couldn't tell, so yeah, that's what I'd advise typically to do. Do, 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 do a few tests, see what they say, and then you can and then if you want if you want to try and get like someone else to type you, you can do, and we can try and work it out. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? I know. I'm just putting the hand up, so... Uh, not a question, but I've got to go. I've got, uh, something I've got to do. But okay, yeah, we're, we're pretty much done here. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think there's anything... Bye-bye. Oh, Unless... Yeah, yeah bye -bye. we'll see you. Yeah, no problem. Bye. bye. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, does anyone yeah. else... Unless anyone has any... Yeah, any other yeah. questions? <laughs> <laughs> there's not much else we can really say beyond just spending hours going through types, and that will take hours, so... Any... Anyone to, you who wanted to know what their cognitive stack was, I'll look it up. Was it was it was it then? <laughs> I think it was. What was that? Oh, does any does anyone? I don't. What was it? 
uh, the is is the name pronounced Ninja? I got an AFK again. Okay, have fun, Ziggy. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if you have, have if no one's getting more questions, then yeah, it's definitely going to much done. Just if you got any, if you want to, if you want to ask about, um, we're going to try and record this. I know I've I've recorded it. Keanu's recorded it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Um, and if you want us to do anything, to go into any particular bit more, we can. I mean, I'm I'm probably going to try and look for more things to go do lectures on anyway, because I enjoy it as you as I've got, told you also. Um, yeah. Does anyone? Anything else? Or I don't know what we're doing next. I don't know if anyone wants to do anything now or what. Yeah. What time is it? It's almost it. it yep. Any any questions? It's been about an hour and a half. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's, I was going to say the time, but it doesn't okay, help. Yeah. Doesn't help all the use. It's been about an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Any other questions? Anything anyone wants to add? All right. Then that is a wrap. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for showing up and for listening to us ramble. We, we definitely appreciate it. And you can actually understand. You can actually understand us yeah, when we spam you. when we spam you with text now. <laughs> um, yeah, Adaptus. Uh, we'll after this, I'll try and find out what the two cognitive stacks for those types are, and we can try and work out what your type actually is because I don't. Know. Uh, I'm curious. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording. Give me one second. Um. All right.